You make this rather snappy, won't you? I have some very heavy thinking to do before 10 o'clock. Oh, dude, live joke, live joke that. So he's live scoping him. I'm throwing it old school. You guys got to check out this week's vlog. We are smashing solids up here at Brownlee. It's insane. All in the FA drift bait. It's ridiculous, guys. You got to check it out. Tune in, guys. Awesome start, man. There it is. All right, guys. Hey, we are back. Corey and I in Idaho. Hey, this is part two of the Smalley Smash Fest, man. It's been fun already, dude. dude we, Amazing. Uh, we're looking forward to this. I know yeah. I am. I know you are. I think uh, the plan for today is to catch a bunch of smallmouth, see what they're not biting. Yeah. I mean, because so far we've only thrown jerk baits, evergreen fates here, and uh, we've caught some fish, and we, we're just getting started, yeah. man. So it's going to be an awesome, awesome day today. You guys are going to definitely want to check this one out. Oh, do a what? What do you got, dude? Another smaller. <laughs> oh, man. I know she switched jerk baits because you're trying to keep up with me, or what's well, why are you switching jerk baits on this, bud? Hey, you know, I. To be honest, I just want to be more like you. Well, yeah, that's obvious. <laughs> hey, but no, I, I was throwing the uh, the Faith 87. This is the 115. And that Faith 87 is a it's a small jerk bait. And uh, I just want to be able to launch this thing, right. right? Like the wind's coming up a little bit. A little bit harder to cast. Generally, I throw it on a uh, on a spinning rod. I want to throw that back right now. Yeah, you know, I was going to compare sizes. <laughs> you just try to ruin that. <laughs> get that thing but no it's uh it's a smaller jerk bait a little bit harder to cast i was casting it really well you know typically i throw it with the sv spool oh there's a nice wow. one sv spool or a spinning rod oh look at this one hey this is why i switched to jerk baits right like i sit there and see Corey catch a nice one look at this beautiful fish Back to back to back cast. <laughs> wow. See if we can go four in a row. Hey, let's Faith try it. 115. You know what's cool too is I just put on this new color from Evergreen here. Uh, but Corey's throwing the pink one, but yeah, that sucker got it. Gotta have faith, bud. Gotta have faith, man. That sucker, it ate it. And you know what? Throwing a jerk bait like we're doing today, mm -hmm. I mean, this is fun, huh, Corey? Oh, yeah. I, I haven't honestly gotten a good drink bait bite in a while, so it's, it's really cool for me. Hey, but just being here, being in Idaho, awesome scenery. I don't have to worry about Corey hit me in the head like Jared. You know, I mean, maybe I do, but... I have hooked Pete Glusick before. Okay, in the head, so, so we're, we're... Jared and Corey are tied, but I'm gonna put this dude back, and uh, hey, the day is young, man. We're just getting started. Love this place. Bro, how fun is this? It sucks. It doesn't suck. Oh. Hooked up? <laughs> Absolutely crushed it. <laughs> you go on the side. We'll get you away. Like Sorry, buddy. slack of the line. Yeah. It's so awesome. I thought it was a giant the way you hit, dude. <laughs> they are fighting. Bulldogging it. You're frisky. Oh, my gosh. The jerk bait is so much fun. Oh, Corey. Look at that. Now, see how I'm doing this for you here? Hey. Making you look good? You know what? We gotta show you how to use the old uh, underwater GoPro here so <laughs> I can keep fishing here next time. Oh, Corey. <laughs> uh, it's not a big one, but hey, jumper, and they are crushing it. So we're here, we, we, uh, we, spring, we call them, this is. They're spawning right now out here, right? Got yeah. They spawn for you guys? Yeah, they're pre spawning. They're spawning. You know, it's been cold in Idaho and it's finally warm the last week and a half or so. So, this is prime jerkbait time for the smallmouth. You know, it, uh, they're up, they're ready to spawn. You know, they've been, they've been ready probably for about a month now, but it's finally warm. But uh, this is the best time to be on the water, in my opinion. You know, yeah. throwing a jerkbait. I mean, these fish are, like I say, getting ready to go. Definitely a fun bite. And uh, like I say, man, we haven't even been out here, 
but maybe a half hour and the smash fest is on. Is on. I'm guessing, I mean, I'm working with standard one, one, two. I mean, is there a wrong way to work at this time of year? What do you do? So what I like to do is I like to start off, especially in the morning, fishing it a little bit slower. You know, maybe jerk, jerk, pause, let the bait sit, maybe jerk it once and then kind of see what they like. You know, mm -hmm. as the day kind of picks up or further along in the spawn, I'm going to work it a lot faster. But uh, I've been throwing it up there and I've been just starting to, to jerk right away. Now, one thing that's so important to me is popping the line, popping the slack in the line mm -hmm. and giving it slack. So when I jerk the bait, I give it slack so it sits there just like you just did there. And then one smokes it. Yes, where if you don't pop it with slack, that bait will continue to move and it just doesn't seem as effective. But uh, yeah, like I say, we're, we're just getting started. This is fun. I mean, you can literally feel it. I mean, they clobber this dude, man. I see mine, I've been winding, I mean, maybe it's because I just don't know, know any better, but I've been winding mine down first a little bit and then starting to, to work it, but. Starting to work it, yeah. I just, I've been throwing it up there and as soon as it hits, just start twitching that jerk bait. If there's one spawning, this is a great way to cover water. And if there's one spawning and you, you sit there and you pop it right over the top of it, it's definitely gonna bite it. Real quick, I just want to give you a closer look on what bait we're throwing today. This is the Evergreen Faith 115. It's an FA 115, the Faith. What makes this bait unique, for one, it's going to be a little bit deeper diving, four to eight foot. You can get it down a little bit deeper on some lighter fluorocarbon. It has a really good slash. So when you jerk this thing on slack line, you know, it really slashes to the left, to the right, has really, really good action, draws those fish from a long ways. Also, you can see the shape of this. So it's gonna be a lot wider on the back and it's gonna narrow down to the belly. So it has a really good roll too. So when you jerk that bait, it's not just moving and stopping. It's still, it's got a really good shimmy to the bait when you're, when you're pulling and jerking that bait. A really good hook placement, some awesome colors, it has the weight transfer system. So when you go to cast this bait, the weights are gonna go in the back and they're gonna launch forward. So you get that maximum cast and suspends. And uh, this is an absolute fish catching jerk bait. What a dope place, huh? Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. I'm telling you, I think it's that wind and then. <laughs> it's a battle of the wind. <laughs> the wind and pop or just the pop? I think, I think the wind and pop is, is winning. <laughs> wind and pop, the old pinky. The old pinky. Hey, that's a new color, man. Smallmouth, spotted bass in the spring go absolutely crazy. Crazy for pink. Large Why is that? Too. I don't know. I think it's just more of an aggression thing. I mean, obviously, I don't I don't know if it really looks like a shad or anything, mm -hmm. but man, they come out and jump on that sucker. Oh, dude, what do we got? Smoked. It crushed it. Good one? Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, big. <laughs> nice fish, dude. Nice one. Oh, double. <laughs> Doubled up, man. Look at that thing. <laughs> Corey, <laughs> look, at, look how <laughs> yours ate it, man. Mine swiped at it, yours ate it. You know, when I see something like this, I feel like that's more of the color right there, right? You know, keep throwing that one, I think. We, we need to make sure we prove it we're right. Gonna, we're going to do a rod switch here. Oh, a man. rod and bait switch. A rod switch? Hey, <laughs> lefty, bud. Lefty. <laughs> hey, good thing I have more of these. Dang. I can go out and get a pink one. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I'll, I'll give you that one for one. Yeah, I finally got Corey. There we go. Jerk, jerk, pause. Look at this, dude. Loaded. Loaded on the live scope? Yeah. Is that right where I just cast? Yeah. Can you see my jerker on there? Yep. Get there it. we go. And there's a fish under it. Yeah. No, it's just eat mine. We're not <laughs> mine, my show, not your show. <laughs> Literally saw that dude come up and bite that deal. <laughs> Corey. I thought trying to live scope my fish. Hey, I was worried about myself there, man. Oh, real cool. The whole time I thought you were talking about my my it's underneath it's underneath the bait. Oh, it's underneath your bait. <laughs> Yeah. No, I actually did see yours for a minute uh -huh. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're fatty, man. 
Oh, <laughs> oh I can't even stop laughing. Man. <laughs> we had a double, but I just I farmed it. Sorry. Uh, again, though, this color they're biting it. This is a Wagasaki. That's a cool color, dude. It like is. That. The pink one they're eating a little more aggressive, but that's the deal. That's a a 115 size jerk bait, and they're biting. These suckers are thick too. All right, so you you, you, tar you found the fish down live skip, so what's your next approach after you kind of target them down, or what, what are we doing here? Yeah, so here it is. You know, there's one out there. It's about uh, 40 feet out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scan around using this Garmin live scope. You know, you're going to have to definitely pay attention to the graph, but once you find a bass, like right here, there's two on the bottom. They're 12 foot down. They're 60 feet out. I'm going to cast out past those fish. And see this, Corey? See these two down there? Uh-huh. I'm gonna cast out past this fish and oh, wind yeah, yeah. it right to it. So yeah. right now my jerk bait is literally over the top of them. There's three of them. Here they are. They're gonna come up. They're looking at it. Oh yeah. You can see my jerk bait. I'm jerking right over the top of their head. And that's how you do it. You know, it's a small cone, so it's gonna be really accurate. You know, in my opinion, Garmin Live Scope is, is the very best. It is so clear. It is a deadly way to catch fish, especially, you know, if you happen to just kind of scroll out in the middle of the lake, like right here, and there's one out there. Those are the fish where if you don't have live scope, you're not going to see, you're not going to cast that. Yeah. So that's a really big deal. But to be effective at it, you have to do it a lot. Super cool way to fish. It's definitely kind of like playing a video game, but catching bass. Yeah, especially right now, like we're getting on the bank, we're, said, we're smashing them. There's no way I would even think to come out here yeah, look at this one right and here. try to get after it. And you just come out here and then <laughs> catch one. I saw I was reeling the bait in. Uh -huh. Literally, it's not a big one, but I'm reeling the bait in. I see this fish come out of 20 feet, fly into it, stop <laughs> it, twitch it, and catch it. So definitely, uh, it's a game changer, man. Yeah, with that life scope, you would have reeled in. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have known. You would have just kept reeling in and brought it back to the boat and been none the wiser. Never caught that fish. Yeah. And a lot of times, like there's another one out there. A lot of times, those are the big ones. I'm you know, that's the, the biggest biggest bass in the lake. They're suspended out there, getting away from pressure. And it is a must-have tool to help you catch and target a lot more of these fish. Do you adjust how you work the bait based on how they react to the bait and stuff like that? Or do you kind of just change it up? Or what do you, I mean? I do, yeah. yeah. So, you know, one of the, the biggest things to me is seeing the color difference, right? Like, so right now I feel like Gosh, dang, that one bit it on the paws. I saw that group of them out there. No, not a big one, but still, I saw a bunch out there, cast it back up there, and caught a fish. But what I was saying is, I feel like changing up colors, like a lot of times you'll see these bass, they'll come up to the bait, oh, yeah. and they'll stop and they'll turn away. Okay. You know, so then I do a color change, maybe a, a lighter color, a brighter color. Um, you could- Pink. Yeah, yeah, pink. <laughs> You can see um, if you have the right cadence, if they're wanting it slower, faster, whatever it might be. So watching a live scope, look at this right here. Jeez almighty. So it, it, only, it only finds them for you. It helps you dial in the bite, dial in the lure, dial in technique and everything. It really does. Once you find them on the live scope and you start casting at them and messing with some of these fish, you're really going to see what they want out of the bait. Do they want a bigger bait, faster bait, or they just eating the one you got. Yeah. So really, really cool. I absolutely love it. It's fun. It's addicting. Yeah, and and it's, it's a good way to help you break down a lake a lot faster because you're going to see a lot more. Oh. Another <laughs> nice one. God, these fish are freaking mean. And on a, you know, like I say, <laughs> They're on a jerk bait, man. You go to jerk that thing and <laughs> whack. Yeah. They jerk bad. Oh, man. Uh, another double? They are loaded up there. You can have that guy. Uh, I'm not even going to show you guys. Uh, 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 hey, GoPro A. Look at hey, up front. We got it right there, bud. <laughs> we got plenty of camera I'm not even going to show it. you guys this thing. It's you so can't good. hide it. I still some... fun, though? Yeah, it's still fun. It's the size of the jerk bait. I get some pliers here. Damn eating this thing. I mean, dude, there's so many bass down here. We can catch them on all kinds of stuff. 
go parallel the bank with the crankbait? Sure. I don't even know if you need to. I mean, we haven't even... Oh, man, we haven't thrown anything Don't catch out. right now. I got a backlash, dude. Hey. You make me look bad here. Zoom in on Corey's backlash. Just a little guy. <laughs> this is a technique. That really what I'm doing here is letting the slow float. Just You're just sit in front of us. Slowly trolling that jerk yeah. trait. Get the old big. Can't resist it. Gosh, that's fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. We called that, man. Cody was just saying, man, what we're, how we're fishing, where the area fishing, kind of going a little bit, Cody, about the super banks and stuff. Yeah, so, you know, we've been fishing these flat points, right? Oh. These flat, shallow points, and there are a bunch of bass on it. I think because they're spawning, honestly. That's a nice report. And then we get to some of the steeper stuff, and we're not getting a bite. So, you know, I just said it. They're definitely, you know, on these flatter points, little bars. You know, there's a ton of points in this lake, but the flatter ones or a little transition from a steep to flat definitely seems like it's key today. You keep talking. I'm going to keep casting and catching. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice fish. All right, let this one go. And I think we're going to get on a little flurry again right here, bud. I like it, man. Let's do it. Smashing. Smash. Smally smash fish. Oh, man. Good. Blasting. Blasting. Cody's hooked up. Can we get a double? Look how fat those suckers are. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you think she wanted that dude right there? Oh, another double, dude. <laughs> Smally Smash Fest. <laughs> hey, you know what time it is, bud? It's time for the Evergreen Montage. <laughs> We're gonna get greedy, boys. Enjoy the montage. Oh, you're going deep on me. Hey, look at that. Here comes a jerk bait right to the back. Oh, but I got one right here. I'm going old school. Cody's life hey, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at him. Oh, dude, I got a good one, guys. It's coming up. I'm not going to let him jump. Sorry, Daniel. I know Dan wants the fish to jump, but. Hey, that fish is going to jump if it wants. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it. It feels like a good one, dude. Oh, he's a chunk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Screw it. Oh, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> that is a tank, dude. Hey, is that your favorite jerk right now? Corey. Ooh. Dude. Oh. Hey. Peach. 
choke. Choke. Head first too, right? That bait. Look at that. Head first. Faith 115 gone. Dang, dude. I don't know how I'm going to get this dude out. I've been saying all week, Cody, start on the fat end. Gosh, dang, man. You know Ain't when they start on the fat end that they're freaking, they want it. Dude. Gone. <laughs> There he is. Cody's. Smoke. Smoke show. <laughs> this has been a blast. Smalley Smash Fest, <laughs> F.A. Jerk Bates, <laughs> up at Brownlee. <laughs> oh my gosh, it really has, man. This is my first time fishing these jerk baits. You know what? Uh, I'm going to have to hit up Satoshi and ask if I can get a handful of these for the next tourney. I'll tell you what, man. It's got three hooks, a ton of action. You know, it's good in cold water, clear water, dirty water, doesn't really matter. It just has a ton of action. And they Sticky eat this hooks. sucker. <laughs> this is some owner STX hooks here. Not a giant one, but a solid bass. And we've caught a ton of yeah. fish. It's been a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We sure did. Uh, check back next week for some more action here from Brownlee. We've got a good giveaway going on. Diowa Evergreen, a lot of cool stuff. I don't know what we're gonna do next, but we're gonna get some food, have a little lunch, and then get back after it, boys. Let's do it.